warm and a pleasant good evening to one and all uh, welcome to law sequo's thorough newspaper analysis for 21st and 22nd of december 2023 चले आज की एजेंडा के लिए तरफ चलते हैं जो एडिटोरियल सेक्शन की बात करता है इन विच वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फोर्टीन अमेंडमेंट ऑफ द यूएस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विच यूज टू डिस्कालीफाई ट्रम्प फ्रॉम होल्डिंग ऑफिस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम पॉलिटिकल थिंग हियर फ्रॉम द अमेरिकन यू नो पॉलिटिक्स which we have taken from the indian express then we'll be discussing about some interesting things related to uh, the national news and the international news and then we'll be discussing about the legal news update chalen ab aaj ke agenda ki taraf chalte hain jahan pe hum baat karenge that the rarely invoked 14th amendment of the us constitution used to disqualify trump from holding the office तो क्या हुआ है पहले ये समझते हैं सो द टॉप कोर्ट इन द यूएस स्टेट ऑफ कोलोराडो ऑर्डर्ड फॉर्मर यूएस प्रेसिडेंट दैट इज डोनाल्ड ट्रंप टू बी टेकन ऑफ द बैलेट इन द स्टेट ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंशियल इलेक्शंस नेक्स्ट ईयर तो यूएस के जो टॉप कोर्ट है ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ कोलोराडो उसने ऑर्डर करा है कि डोनाल्ड ट्रंप शुड नॉट कंटेस्ट इलेक्शन एंड शुड बी टेकन ऑफ द बैलेट Now, on this December nineteenth, the Supreme Court in Colorado ruled that Trump stands disqualified from holding the office of president under Section three of the Fourteenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. Now, the the particular judgment was related to Trump's alleged role in January six, twenty twenty one attacks on the U.S. Capitol. the seat of the country's government now trump supporters were protesting the election victory of democratic candidate joe biden in 2020 claiming the polls were rigged they rioted and entered the premises of government offices in washington and at least five people died in aftermath and some were injured now trump on this particular uh, instance has said that he will contest the ruling and the case is then likely to go to the us supreme court but what is section 3 of the 14th amendment of the us constitution under which the trump is disqualified let us understand that ki kyun trump ko under section 3 of the 14th amendment of the us constitution ke under trump ko disqualified kara gaya chale baat karte hain is 14th amendment ki so according to the us government the amendment was passed and ratified by the us congress cup 1866 or 1868 mein ye third and back year ka ek 14th amendment hai it was brought in after the civil war ended and extended liberties and rights grant, granted by the bill of rights to formerly enslaved people now section 3 ki jab baat kare bachcho acche se suniyega section 3 bahut important hai No person shall be senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil, military under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken on oath as a member of Congress or an officer of United States or as a member of state legislature or as an executive judicial officer of the state to support the Constitution of the United States, shall engage in the important line is insertion. or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort the enemies thereof now simply it says that agar koi person previously elected government ka or start karta hai koi bhi insertion mein rebellion mein they cannot hold the office again ye simple bhasha hai theek hai now the 13th and the 14th 15th amendment were introduced after the civil war ended the war was fought between the northern and the southern states over the issue of slavery Now, the History Channel states that as American states sought to expand westward, a growing divide between the two sides came to the fore. The North wanted slavery to be abolished, while the South wanted it to retain it. The Southern state economies were also comparatively more dependent on agriculture, where most of workers were African American slaves. Now, following the election of President, which concept President this time, Abraham Lincoln. and the support that he enjoyed from the northern state it took only a few months for seven southern states to uh, succeed from the united state and the war began between the north and the south now war ended with a victory kiski hui unionist 
and the led to the subsequent abolishment of slavery to isse kya hua jab war end hua to slavery khatam ho gayi aur unionist power mein aa gaye aur ye teen amendment laaye gaye 14th amendment 15th amendment 14th amendment ye bolta hai ki all persons born or naturalized in united states were granted citizenship including the formerly enslaved people the idea that an elected official would have rebelled against the constitution itself would be seen as threat to that system of constitutional politics it does not necessarily mean an overthrow of the government but rather an expression of disobedience of existing laws and structure now according to the router section 3 has really been tested in court this marks the first time that it has been mentioned in relation to a former president supreme court has a majority of conservative judges in the us president appoint judges for a lifetime tenure and the appointment are largely based on party lines to ye kya ho gaya ye ek tarike se biasness ho gayi so the rooters reported added that even if the court agrees with the colorado judgment it would simply mean Trump cannot be voted for in that state in 2024. Traditionally, Colorado has seen the Democratic Party candidate win the state electors, so the new ruling is not seen as particularly harmful to Trump electoral prospects. So generally, वो indirectly or directly Trump को affect नहीं करेगी, right? So uh, because of the fact that judges जो appointment होते हैं for lifetime वो president ही करता है. and it generally goes into the party line so indirectly it would certainly not affect but it's a history in making that this amendment has been used chale chaliye at national news ki taraf chalte hain maharashtra bags women's and aai wins men's title event in guwahati so in team events of the 75th inter state inter zonal badminton championship 2023 maharashtra bagged women's and airport authority of india won the men's title event in guwahati so maharashtra women mein aur aai wins men title events in guwahati ab in the women team event final maharashtra dominated aai with impressive displays from shruti mundada alisha nayak and the double pair of simran singhi and ritika thakkar clear hai chale government of india and adb that is asian development bank signed 37 billion japanese yuan loan for delhi meerut regional rapid transit system corridor so ye the particular organization ne 37 billion ka japanese yuan loan liya hai theek hai now after signing the loan agreement ms mukherjee stated that the investment project will enable the rrts to improve urban mobility and the project's economic impact will also benefit women and differently abled so ye particular loan sign hua hai kis ke liye sign hua hai delhi meerut regional rapid transit system corridor chalega chale aage badhte hain now ex union minister narendra singh tomar elected speaker of mp assembly so chief minister mohan yadav on december 20 moved the proposal for the election of 66 year old mr tomar इस चीज के लिए एज अ स्पीकर ऑफ एम पी एस एमली ठीक है नाउ आफ्टर वॉइस नोट प्रो टेम स्पीकर गोपाल भार्गवा डिक्लेयर मिस्टर तोमर एज इलेक्टेड यूनानिमसली टू द स्पीकर पोस्ट तो याद रखिएगा ये जुडिशियल सर्विसेज के क्वेश्चन है इसको प्लीज याद रखिएगा चले नाउ उत्तर प्रदेश शॉर्जेज एज इंडिया सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी आउटपेसिंग की स्टेट से रिपोर्ट सो उत्तर प्रदेश बिकेम इंडिया सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट इकोनॉमी सरपेसिंग की स्टेट एंड सर्जिंग अड इन अमेंडेबल स्ट्राइड टूवर्ड्स चीफ मिनिस्टर योगी आदिनाथ एम्बिशियस गोल ऑफ अचीविंग वन ट्रिलियन मार्क बाय ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन देखिए द स्टेट इज आउटपास किस किस को आउटपास करा है यूपी ने तमिलनाडु गुजरात वेस्ट बेंगाल further it has surged past karnataka rajasthan andhra pradesh and madhya pradesh uttar pradesh has also climbed for from the 14th to the second position in the ease of doing business ranking so yaad rakhiyega ease of doing doing business ranking pe second largest economy hai ye up jisne surpass kiya hai bahut sare state ko aur unke jo prime unke jo chief minister hai sorry goal hai 1 trillion economy till 2020 
Tamil Nadu retains achiever status in logistic infra ranking of the states. So Tamil Nadu is this year top performer in a central government tool ranking state and UTs in terms of logistic infrastructure. Okay? The state maintains its achiever status within the coastal group in the logistic ease across different states 2023 ranking by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Okay? So Tamil Nadu retains achiever status in logistic infra ranking of the states. I will remember. IPL auction. A total of 72 players were handed on IPL contract on Tuesday with 10 teams splurging a combined amount of around 230 crore. Indian cricketers Shubham Dubey and Samir Rizvi were picked by RR and CSK for picked for 5.8 crore and 8.4 crore respectively. ठीक है चलिए इंडियन पेसर के बारे में बात करें उमेश यादव शिवम मावी उमेश यादव 5.8 करोड़ शिवम मावी 6.4 करोड़ रेस्पेक्टिवली टू जीटी एंड एलएसजी नाउ न्यूजीलैंड ऑलराउंडर डेरी मिट्सेल केम क्लोज टू विद 14 करोड़ ही वाज पिक्ड बाय सीएसके दैट इज चेन्नई टीम वेस्ट इंडीज टी20 कैप्टन रोमन पॉवेल वाज सोल्ड फॉर अ वूपिंग 7.40 करोड़ टू आरआर आफ्टर अ फियर्स बिटिंग वॉर बिटवीन राजस्थान रॉयल्स एंड कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स Powell, who had base price of 1 crore, was the first player to be sold in IPL 2024 auction. Okay, IPL auction is Gen Robotics chosen among top 3 Indian st startups at Global AI Summit. So, Gen Robotics, a Kerala-based startup claimed for leveraging technology for social change, has been adjudged among top 3 artificial intelligence startups of India at the Global Partnership on Artificial Intelligence Summit, which held in New Delhi. Okay. Gen Robotics has honored for its outstanding innovation in healthcare by developing G-Gator, an advanced AI-powered robotic gait trainer. Okay. G-Gator trains people who lose mobility due to stroke, spinal injury, accident, uh, Parkinson's disease and similar conditions to recover faster with minimal dependency on others, it said. So, Gen Robotics was choose kara gaya hai top three Indian startups se at Global AI Summit, jo kaha hui New Delhi mein hui. So, chali, ab next news ki taraf chalte hain, jaha pe hum International Human Solidarity Day ki baare mein baat karenge. And every year, International Human Solidarity Day is marked on December 20. Ab iske history ki baare mein baat karte hain. The creation of the United Nations drew the international community and government to promote peace, human rights, social and economic development. Therefore, in the spirit of solidarity, the United Nations General Assembly identifies solidarity as one of the fundamental and universal value that should underlie relations between people in the 21st century. Chaliya. Meanwhile, solidarity is identified in the Millennium Declaration as one of the fundamental values of international relations in the 21st century. Therefore, the UN General Assembly convinced international community that the promotion of the culture of solidarity and the spirit of sharing is important for combating poverty. So, international Human Solidarity Day ki baare mein baat karte hain, jo December 20 ko celebrate kara jata hai. Next international news ki taraf chalta hai. Egypt election ke baat karte hain, jaape President Sisi wins third term. So, Egypt President Tul Fateh al-Sisi has won a three-third six-year term in 89.6% of the vote. Okay? Now, uh, leading opposition candidate Ahmed Tantavi has pulled out months before last week poll, claiming intimidation and violence against his campaign camp. Under his leadership, huge sum of money has been spent on wind infrastructure project. Roads have been expanded and flyovers built, and a new capital costing billions of dollars has been constructed near Cairo, but is barely inhabited. So, give a particular president ka ye third six term year election. Mein wo Chale, ab next news ki taraf chalte hai. Bangladesh storm ne sarkar break Sachin Tendulkar 14 year record during Bangladesh versus New Zealand second ODI. So Bangladesh opener Somya sarkar has broken legendary cricketer Sachin Tendulkar 14 year old record during the second ODI match against New Zealand in Nelson on Wednesday. 
the 30 year old knock against new zealand help him to surpass tendulkar milestone for the highest run in odi by a player from the subcontinent in new zealand so ye particular record break kiya hai soumya sarkar ne now guana bisau president sacks prime minister names replacement so guana bisau's president umaro sisoko embalo has dismissed jerrado uh, martins as prime minister just a week after his reappointment and appointed former prime minister rui duatre de baros in his place presidential decrees on wednesday shows de baros previously worked as a west African countries minister of economy and finance and as a commissioner at the West African Economic and Monetary Union before serving as prime minister in a transitional government between 2012 and 2014 chale next international news ki taraf chalte hain under 19 asia cup ki baat karte hain bangladesh crushes uae to lift trophy so wicket keeper batter ashik or rahman Sibley continued his splendid run with a second century in five matches as Bangladesh crushed UAE by 195 runs to win the under 19 Asia Cup in Dubai. For Bangladesh, Ashir finished with 378 runs from five innings at 126.00 to be adjudged both pair of pair player of the match and the series. So under 19 Asia Cup, who won? Bangladesh won. लीगल अपडेट की तरफ चलते हैं लोक पास लोक सभा पासिस क्रिमिनल लॉ बिल सीकिंग टू रिप्लेस आईपीसी सीआरपीसी एंड एविडेंस एक्ट तो एक बहुत ही हिस्टोरिक इवेंट में विंटर सेशन में लोकसभा इस पास द थ्री रिवाइज क्रिमिनल बिल्स नेमली भारतीय न्याय संहिता प्रपोजिंग टू रिप्लेस बाय आईपीसी भारतीय नागरिक सुरक्षा संहिता फॉर सीआरपीसी एंड भारतीय साक्ष्य संहिता फॉर इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट The proposed criminal law bills have been under scrutiny with concerns raised previously by opposition leader such as Adil Ranjan Chaudhary and senior advocate Kapil Sibal who have highlighted potential violations of human rights and the inadequacy of safeguard against access by law enforcement agencies. ठीक है December 12th the center reintroduced the three revised criminal bills including B and SS in the India's parliament lower house withdrawing the previous version introduced in August so ye teeno bill ka replacement aa gaya hai aur lok sabha ne ye bills pass kar diye hain lok sabha passes telecommunication bill 2023 jo the parliament has passed the telecommunication bill 2023 with the approval of rajya sabha today with amendment the bill has already been passed by lok sabha now ye bill kya karta hai the bill seeks to amend and consolidate the law relating to the development expansion and operation of telecommunication services and the bill ye kisko replace karega indian telegraph act 1885 ko ye replace kar raha hai ठीक है इनिशिएशन का डिस्कशन ऑन द बिल सुष्मिता पत्रा ऑफ बीजेडी सपोर्टेड द लेजिस्लेशन टर्मिंग द बिल एज द नीड ऑफ द आर ही सेड मेजर्स हैव बीन टेकन टू प्रोटेक्ट द यूजर्स फ्रॉम मालवेयर अटैक्स एंड एंश्योर देयर प्राइवेसी सुशील मोदी ऑफ बीजेपी डिस्क्राइब द बिल एज हिस्टोरिक तो ये पर्टिकुलर बिल आ गया है एंड इट विल ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड रिफॉर्म द टेलीकम्युनिकेशन सेक्टर सर्विसेज एंड इट्स नेटवर्क आज के टीएनए के लिए इतना काफी है थैंक यू सो मच एंड टेक केयर